This story is based on a brief mention in the Japanese classic, The Tales of the Heike. A 21-year-old aristocrat who is also a warrior leader, Kiyotsune, is skilled at flute playing and is little interested in the affairs of war. When he is forced to take up arms, he vows to his beloved wife that he will return to her. Kiyotsune and the other soldiers hear that the enemy is pressing in on them and also receive an oracle they interpret unfavorably. Despairing of the future, they escape again in boats. Playing his flute on a moonless night, Kiyotsune determines to take his own life and leaps into the water to his death. This one-act play begins with Kiyotsune's retainer conveying the news of his death to Kiyotsune's wife. She laments that Kiyotsune took his own life, turning his vow to return to her into a lie. The story develops as Kiyotsune returns as a spirit to explain his feelings to his wife. <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you the costumes worn in the play, Kiyotsune. This story represents Shuramono, which means the eternal destruction and battle one must face after falling to the lowest level of the afterlife. This bottom section of the costume is called Oguchi. It's made with white fabric sewn together with golden thread. They're worn as pants. This kimono is called kitsuke. It's decorated with kikko moyo, which are popular hexagon-shaped tortoiseshell patterns. Next, this is choken, an overcoat with a flower basket design. This is usually worn by women, but also by young male aristocratic warriors. This is a no mask called chujo. This mask is of a young man and represents the grace of the aristocratic class. This fan is called Chu Kei. It has the design of a sailboat which is popular among the samurai and is used in prayer before battle. <laughs> 